Thomas Henry Jem, or Harry, as he was more generally known, was a man of many parts. He was a lawyer, the clerk to the Birmingham magistrates, and an officer in the Birmingham Volunteer Rifles. He was an all-round sportsman, rackets player, runner, swimmer, cricketer, and founder of at least one cricket club. He sketched, he was a writer, a dramatist, and an actor. He was also responsible for the foundation of the Birmingham Union Club. The list goes on. But it was his involvement in racket sports, particularly his role as a lawn tennis pioneer, which is of prime interest to us. He and his Spanish merchant friend, Orgorio Pereira, met, we think, at Birmingham's Bath Street Rackets Club, where Jem was honorary secretary and Pereira a rackets player of some note. Eventually, the two men set out to devise an outdoor racket game, one which would not require the expense and upkeep of a building for an indoor game like rackets. Their first attempts can be dated back to as early as 1859 in the garden of Pereira's home in Ampton Road, Edgbaston, a mile or so to the west of Birmingham city centre. By the early 1870s, both men had decided to move to Leamington Spa, Warwickshire. It was there that they set up the world's first lawn tennis club in 1874. Their club used courts laid down in the grounds of the Manor House Hotel. Founding members, along with Jem and Pereira, were two Leamington doctors, Frederick Haynes and Arthur Tompkins. At first, they called their game Pelota, after a Spanish game still played today, but soon altered it to lawn tennis. This was the same year which saw the launch of Major Wingfield's Ferristiki lawn tennis sets, sold through French & Co of London. Wingfield's version would be adopted first by the MCC in London and then the All England Club in Wimbledon, evolving into the game we know today. It is interesting to note that Jem and Pereira's court anticipated the oblong of the modern court, whereas Wingfield's was an hourglass shape. Jem's wide sporting interest led him, in the 1860s, to join the Edgbaston Archery Society, which survives now as the Edgbaston Archery and Lawn Tennis Society, and is acknowledged as the oldest lawn tennis club in the world. Furthermore, the first recorded sale of one of Wingfield's lawn tennis sets in Birmingham was to a member of the Calthorpe family, associated then as now with Edgbaston Archery. Harry Jem died, aged 62, in November 1881, a few days after a fall from his horse at an encampment in Sutton Coalfield with the Birmingham Rifle Volunteers. It is thought that the fall was caused by a heart attack. The funeral was conducted with full military honours. His coffin was taken on a gun carriage from Birmingham's Livery Street Station to its final resting place in Warstone Lane Cemetery at the heart of Birmingham's Jewellery Quarter. The procession of family and civic dignitary mourners was escorted by some 500 soldiers. The streets were lined by thousands of people who had come to pay their last respects to this widely known and popular local celebrity. Harry's grave lay undiscovered for 120 years or so. The area of the cemetery where he lay became very overgrown. In 2010, Michael Reddy, a local tour guide, was the first to mark the grave, appropriately enough, with a tennis ball. For a number of years, the Harry Gem project had been considering the possibility of restoring Harry's grave and began the process to acquire the right to restore the grave. When this was granted, trustees Robert Holland, Chris and Sue Elks explored the grave site, finding only broken pieces of the original grave architecture. On scraping away the earth from the neighbouring plot, the original ledger stone to Harry's grave was revealed. In the meantime, the friends of Key Hill and Warstone Lane cemeteries began a huge clean-up of both cemeteries, with the result that Harry's grave became much more accessible. A campaign is underway to raise the funds for rebuilding the grave architecture, similar in style to this example. Harry's wife died in 1899 and is buried in the same grave, her details will also be engraved on the ledger stone. And finally, in recognition of their role as lawn tennis pioneers, there will be this inscription etched on the side walls. Thomas Henry, Harry, Jem and his friend J.B.A. Pereira were lawn tennis pioneers. Their earliest experiments took place in the garden of Pereira's home in Edgbaston, Birmingham, around 1859. Please help us to restore this very significant piece of Birmingham and lawn tennis heritage. <laughs>